Okay guys, so at this point in your walk cycle, um, this video I'm just going to be showing you how to make the walk cycle loop. Um, and you're going to go back and be able to animate the arms later um, and make the head do whatever you want it to do later. But for now we just want the walk part to loop and then he can wave or something later on. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is open up our graph editor. So we're going to go to Windows, Animation Editors, and Graph Editor. Move that so we can see what's going on here. Also, if it makes it easier, you can just uh, embed your graph editor up there. Um, whatever you want. If you don't like it like that, you can also take it out. Um, I'm going to leave mine out for now. Um, so what we need to do is look at the controls that we have put keyframes on and animated and do a few things in the graph editor to loop them. So let's look at the feet first. Click on the, let's click on the left foot first, translate Y, let's click on that. Um, we want to go up to curves. When, um, first thing we also need to do is go to view and make sure this infinity is checked. All right, now let's go to curves pre-infinity, and we want this um, to just cycle. And so what that did was um, it just made that animation start before, and then we want to go to post-infinity cycle. Translate Z um, is a little different. We don't want to cycle it. We want this one to cycle with offset. So it should look like a staircase, just like this. Now let's do the same thing for the other foot. Translate Y, curves, pre-infinity, cycle. This is for translate Y, post-infinity, cycle. And then for translate Z, pre-infinity, cycle with offset, curves, post-infinity, cycle with offset. So that should look like a staircase also. And now we've got to look at his body. So we've got a few things going on here. Um, the translate Z, is, let's go ahead and look at that. Um, we want this to also cycle with offset. And then the other two, we can just cycle. Okay, so once you've done that, close out your graph editor for the time being. And let's just check your animation to make sure everything looks okay. So zoom out a little bit so you can see how far he walks. And click play. And it'll just play to the end of your time slider. So if you want to see him walk really far, you can change this. I'm just going to type in like 360. So 
360 frames, and then I'm going to slide this out so it will actually play for that long. Let's see this die go. Nice. Um, and I'm going to show you one more thing in the graph editor that you can do to make your walk possibly a little bit smoother. So when I look at my, let's zoom in here a little bit, go to the beginning. When I look at my translate Z something, uh, I don't know actually, it looks pretty good. This might be the only thing you want to tweak a little bit is the translate Z for your body and just see what that does. Let's see. Eat. So one thing I'm seeing you could do here is maybe make his feet come down a little harder. So this is my translate Y. So when I'm looking at my, uh, this is the right foot, um, as you can see as he lifts his foot up he kind of, it eases into that move and then it comes out faster. So let's see what that does. I'm going to do that on both feet. Oh. Don't let it do that. We only want... I guess I have to break the tangent. If that happens where you're just wanting to move one of these guys and it's moving both, you have to break the tangents. And that is... It's usually... Break tangents. So if you go under tangents menu, and go down and click break tangents. That should work. There we go. That's nope, not that far. <laughs> All right, let's see what that looks like. Let me get my graph editor out of the way. All right. He looks okay. You can play around with the graph editor um, and make his walk however you want. Um, yeah, so that's it for now.